Alright, welcome back to another episode of Spider-Man Remastered. Today we're going to continue with the Heist DLC. But before we continue, I just wanted to mention a little, you know, detail I just noticed recently. And that is that during the cutscenes, I've always wondered, uh, since the beginning of this DLC, why is there always like this greenish, bluish hue to them? Like, I was like, where's that color coming from? Like, there's nothing green around me, right? Until I realized that it's actually the color that's emanating from this suit itself, the Velocity Suit. So the velocity suit, as you guys notice, well, it's kind of hard to notice on the screen, but uh, uh, essentially the spider symbol glows and it, you know, gives off this like bluish greenish hue. And I just think it's pretty cool that the uh, suit itself, the color actually, you know, reacts to the cutscenes. So, uh, yeah, that's just a little detail that I think you guys should watch out for. Because, uh, like I said, I think it's pretty cool that the suit itself reacts to the cutscenes themselves. But, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. What are we looking at? Got a tip from an old friend. Hammerhead's keeping something extremely valuable in that office above the bar. A lot of guys in there. If they spot me, my son's dead. I'll draw them out. Then you sneak in. My hero. Come on. <laughs> Please. That was actually a very prominent cutscene that shows the the hue that I'm talking about during the uh, the lighting of the cutscene. I'm gonna try to do this very sneaky. So there's two in that side, three on this side, and three back there. All right. So uh, how exactly am I gonna do this? Cause I don't want to web them up from here because they're immediately gonna notice. Actually. I think I might have a chance right here. Let me just distract my mans over here. There you go. Nothing too bad. That guy's distracted, I guess, too. There we go. You know, the funny part about the whole reactive lighting that this suit, uh, you know, has is that the lighting itself that emanates from the suit when you're playing, it's not really that bright, and I just gave my cover up. How the hell did they even see me? There was, like, no one looking at me. That was actually a really nice dodge. Okay, I'll, I'll forgive that. Dude, that guy is dead. That guy is straight up dead. Where the hell did this guy come from? There we go. Like playing freaking what? What's it called? Bowling? Yeah. I haven't went gone bowling in like I think like three years, three four years. Oh man, he ruined that with that freaking Molotov. Wow, that would have been a crazy takedown. I actually think that this is the first enemy we encountered with Molotovs in the game. That's pretty cool. Oh! My man over here has like third degree burns right now. Enough of this crap! Everyone hit him at once! Gotten soft in your old age. Old age? Hey, I might be older, but I'm not old. Wait, Peter is older than Black Cat in this game? That's interesting. Yeah, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, in most media, Felicia's always like older than uh, Peter. 
like if I remember correctly during the uh, ultimate comic book run uh, when uh, Felicia found out that Peter was underage and they were about to you know have intercourse <laughs> she actually threw up on Peter because she realized that she was essentially with a young dude <laughs> with a high schooler Let me do a finish on this guy. I really like it. There we go. I think that's actually the first time that I see one of these dudes with hair. They're normally bald. That's actually pretty sick. I just realized that the uh, effect of using the speed actually changes when you're punching people. It's like a little stronger. That's crazy that I just realized that. Because every time I use uh, the Velocity Suit's ultimate ability, I just used it to run on people. Because it like pushes them away. I didn't know you could actually use it to uh, punch people. And it makes a difference in terms of damage. Oh no, okay, wait, hold up. Let me wait for this guy to. Damn it, dude. Okay, I could still hurt him, okay. I was hoping he wasn't bugging inside the car. You first, Spider. No, no, no. Did you find the location of the vault? No, but we're narrowing it down. And it's definitely where he's keeping my son. Yeah, speaking of him, there's an overdue conversation we... Do you ever miss this? What? Me getting shot at while you steal things? I really tried going straight. Got a job that didn't involve breaking or entering. Even started wearing sweatpants on weekends. I wondered where you went. It must have been hard for you. Especially with a child. I need to go deeper. If I'm gonna find him. Let me help. If we're supposed to be working together... Some things I do better alone. Some things. I'll call you if I need an extra pair of hands. Jesus. Hey, MJ. Did you get any good info from that laptop? I'm still decrypting the data. Should have something soon. Good. In the meantime, we've got another lead. We think Hammerhead's keeping her son in a vault, but we don't know where the vault is. Once I crack these files, maybe we can combine my chocolate with your peanut butter. Do not make a saucy joke out of that. It's hard to resist a setup like that, but I'll hold the sauce. Thanks, MJ. Let me know what you find. Man, I ship okay, Felicia and kill. Peter so bad in this universe. In like, I'm normally not someone that would ship people or uh, characters from, uh, you know, Cartoons, anime, uh, video games, but man, Peter and Felicia just have like this freaking chemistry, bro. I just can't see this Peter with MJ, man. It was, I, I just don't like MJ. I'll just put it out there. I just don't like MJ at all. <laughs> but uh, also, before I end the video, I was going to mention that uh, I might get hate for this, but I really don't like the uh, look they gave MJ in the second game. Uh, from the trailer that they showed her, they made her look like a freaking soccer mom. And, uh, yeah, I just don't like how she looked there. Um, I actually don't like how Peter looks either. I feel like they made him look younger with that, uh, haircut. I think the only good-looking one is, uh, Miles. With, like, a different hairstyle. But, uh, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. We're getting closer to the end of the, uh, DLC. So, uh, yeah, I guess once again, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
let's say, alleged ties 